Much of our personal happiness depends on our willingness to stop putting things off. <laughs> Joining us with another good word is our therapist and friend, Dr. Jonathan Eric Carroll. Good morning. Good morning, Angie. There are so many jokes about procrastination, Jonathan. <laughs> but it really Indeed. is no joke. It really is no joke. That delay of getting things done is, is really stressful. Yeah, it really is. You know, there, there are books and books, volumes have been written about procrastination, not all of them against it. Uh, there are some recent uh, studies that prove that procrastination sometimes is a necessary delay, um, kind of a form of denial, which uh, is uh, psychologically speaking, not always a bad thing. It kind of prevents uh, everything from hitting us all at one time. However, I think that uh, we do our best work when we design the life that we want for ourselves. And I think if we want to have a beautiful life, we have to make beautiful choices. And sometimes that means uh, having things that we know we're going to do and we know when we're going to do them and we stick to that. All right. So, you know, this sounds so simple when you when you speak it, but there are real uh, personality issues, mental issues that kind of stop us and get stuck in our tracks. Yeah, I think it's good for us to kind of take stock of that. This is why it's so important to me that we have uh, routines, that we have a way to structure our day so that we spend time in the morning uh, with a cup of coffee, with a journal, with a good book, taking a wandering walk, spending time with ourselves. I think that that's what journaling, reading, walking uh, do for us. I think it's good for us to put our phones away and not get to them for the first 30 minutes to an hour that we're awake and really let ourselves kind of uh, awaken to a new day and give ourselves time to spend with ourselves and in that time often we find what are the things that are stopping us what is it that's preventing us from doing what we want to do there's an ancient latin phrase that says whatever it is you're going to do do it and do it now and you hear that kind of in the nike slogan just do it in other words how long are we going to wait to demand ourselves uh, to do our very best what is it that we want to do let's do it if it matters if it's worth doing let's do it but we have things like anxieties and fears and worries i think what's best is to kind of go back to an earlier conversation to remember there are things that are up to us and things that aren't up to us and if they're not up to us worrying about them isn't going to change them but if there is something we can do if we do have some control in the matter we should do it and so sometimes procrastinating is our way of trying maybe to control some of the feelings that we have about doing what we want to do. And remember, this isn't always just the kind of negative things that we have to do, like pay bills or cut the grass or take a child to college, uh, but some of the even more positive things like write that book, reconnect with that friend, plan that reunion, um, call our mothers. There are things that we can be doing that we put off. And it's, in my mind, a bit arrogant to think we should put off till tomorrow what we could do today because we're not guaranteed tomorrow. We are not guaranteed tomorrow. We're not guaranteed the day after that. We weren't guaranteed this morning, but you and I are both awake, which means this is bonus time. This is extra time. We're playing with house money now, and we should do something <laughs> big with it. I love that. We're playing with house money now. Jonathan, thank you so much for all your uh, radiant wisdom. We appreciate you. It's nice to see you. Thank you so much.